I can tell you that the being who is speaking or approaching me has never set foot upon the physical plane of the earth. The plane of the earth is a place that we have often looked upon and pondered over. It is a place that we have meditated on ourselves with the will of the divine and the plans, the long held plans and destiny that were blessed upon the planet Earth, humanity, and indeed the whole solar system and all the spiritual beings which comprise of the solar system. But I wish to make it known to you as we approach this topic of angels that it is often the angels that are held in the realm of esteem and power. But we wish to inform you or to remind you that it is you, the humans, who are the ones blessed with free will and destiny who inhabit the physical plane of the earth. It is not the angelic realm. It is not the realm of other beings who may wish to interpenetrate your consciousness or your deeds, but it is indeed the human beings who hold the power and sway over the destiny of the earth and the spiritual beings who watch above have a grand divine plan laid out for the progression of humanity. But with the overlay of free will that was given to humanity, there becomes a choice. And as a whole, as a collective, humanity has a choice. And the role of the spiritual players, whether it be the angelic realm or beings above or adjacent to them, is to guide the awakening and the development of humans, whether it be upon the face of the earth or whether it be in other astral locations to where some of you are often taken perhaps unbeknownst to you, maybe some of you can recall such experiences, whether it be through your sleep state, whether it be through past incarnations, whether part or full. But each of you has potential dominion, not only over yourself and your incarnation upon the earth and your destiny upon the earth, but also over your spiritual and soul development on a higher, more eternal level. And eventually the two, at a distant point in time, shall be fully merged as one, where the spirit and the physical are so intertwined that there will be no distinguish, distinguishing between the two and you will be able to manifest and have dominion over both. And those of the angelic realm, of which we will discuss this evening or this morning, their role is to serve, to assist, and to be at your bequest. For we all, each in the spiritual world, have roles to play and indeed human beings as well have a, a very significant and enormous role to play not only within your earth destiny but also in future distant destinies which lay far beyond and part of the role of spiritual beings is to prepare you for these future destinies these future possibilities. And you have the free will to choose. For every day you make choices. And within humanity, there are streams within humanity 
who lean towards the materialistic or lean towards the spiritual or fall somewhere in between. But there is a collective consciousness that does link human beings. It is deep, it is subtle, but it is very real. And through the eons of time, in Earth's history, there is like a coming together in the spiritual world. There is a there is a formulating. There is a there is a blending. There is a developmental happening and formulating of your soul and spirit bodies. For if you consider what it is like for a purely spiritual being to become manifest upon a physical dimension. It is quite a difficult thing to achieve. And then for spiritual consciousness to become fully conscious within physical matter, it is a very difficult and complex process which takes eons of time. And whilst the masses of people on the earth have ascended to great intellectual and scientific heights, there are other aspects of the human constitution on a spirit soul level, which is still in its relative infancy, when you consider the huge eons of time through which the human soul is to develop. And so, as parents look over their children, so do, so do the spiritual worlds overlook the humans, but knowing that the human beings will eventually have a greater dominion and a greater power than those who currently watch over. Why not all spiritual beings have the free will that the humans have? And within the free will, there is significant powers which others do not have in their dominion. But you almost also must be very aware that through the free will that was granted to human beings, there are choices and influences which therefore can penetrate into your psyche and into your consciousness and has very much done so that has led humanity away from their spiritual roots. And the plan has been, and it has always been, for human beings to incarnate fully into matter, onto the earth, to lose that initial connection to the spiritual worlds, but then decide through their own free will if they wish to reconnect. And so we have this place where people on the earth have been at a crossroads now, and more and more are walking across these crossroads where an awakening is taking place. And as one awakens, so their vibratory state has an awakening effect upon others. So from where we watch, where we observe and where we assist, we can see the light changing around the earth. But we can also see darkness that is around the earth as well, a counter force. For where there is light, there is usually the balancing aspect of darkness competing for dominion over man. For those there are beings in the spiritual world, a counter to the angels, if you wish, who cannot incarnate on the earth, who do not serve humans as the angels do, but feel that humans should serve them. And hence you have these battles that are being played out upon the earth in different manifestations. But the divine is always by your side. The divinity is within you, for you are a spark of the divine. You are an unfolding 
aspect of the divine. And through your exercising of your free will, you may choose to become part of the divine. For that is the envisioned pathway for the progression of humans to live in love, to live in compassion, to live in peace, to live in divinity. And that is the freedom of choice that we wish and are helping humans to embody and to share with one another. And our task is not made easy. For as mentioned, there are others who wish for humans to serve them. And through darkness, through ignorance, through lack of awareness, or refusal to acknowledge or to believe or understand or to experience spiritual realities. There is a polarization that we seek to overcome. But behind the scenes, regardless of this balancing of forces upon the earth, there are many teams and realms of angels who work behind the scenes, awakening, preparing, and sharing and shining light and strength into the future capacities of the human beings upon their pathway as if we the future pathway, the future destiny of free will before them and within the souls themselves, particularly of the newer people, the newer souls coming onto the earth year after year. There is a collective development of consciousness on the soul spiritual planes and these souls, these beings are continually to incarnate upon the earth to bring more light and more consciousness. The earth is an astounding place in which to be at this time for your own inner development, but also for the understanding that we in the spirit world wish to experience and observe for our own development as well. For as, as humans, develop in their evolution, so does the animal kingdom develop in its evolution, so does Mother Earth herself awaken and ascend, and in the spirit world the same principle applies to us all, to the angels, to the archangels and those above. We too may go through stage of, stages of ascension and higher levels of development. We are all connected. And as one changes, so does the vibrations of that change affect all others. It almost sets the chain reaction off through all levels of the universe. For we are all one. And the plan is for us to be one. One in awareness, one in consciousness, but one in free will. Many blessings to you all for now, my friends. Rise up.